Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an AI app using ChatGPT in just a few minutes. Once we're done, I'll show you how to upload this app to the web using tiny.host. So I've just logged into ChatGPT now, but before we get started, I'm gonna to go to the top where it says ChatGPT 4.0 and change it to the with canvas mode, which is in beta, but has some extra features for coding, which is really nice. So I want a calculator app. So I'm gonna to say to ChatGPT, please make me a calculator app using HTML. So HTML is the file type that we'll eventually upload to the web and we'll add some customization as well. So I'll say, please make the background dark and please make the buttons colorful. So we'll send that off and now we'll see ChatGPT open up this canvas mode. So on the right, you can see it generating the code as we speak. And on the left, it's just talking about how it's understood us and it will give us an update as you can see now when it's done. So we actually need the HTML file to upload it. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, please give me the HTML file for download. Now it will need a few seconds just to analyze and prepare us that file. So I'll quickly explain what it's just created on the right here. So at the top, here's the CSS, which is for styling in HTML. Then we actually have the core HTML elements, which is for the structure of the website. And then we have JavaScript at the bottom for the custom logic with the calculator. So we can see on the left, the HTML file is ready to download. So I'll click download on that now and we'll jump to tiny.host to get that uploaded to the web. So I've just logged into tiny.host now and this is what their dashboard looks like. To get started, I'm gonna click upload and you can see they're ready to accept a HTML, which is what we just created. So let's go to our file and drag it into the upload section. Now they're asking for a link name. I'm gonna call it my calculator. And then on the right, you can see we can add a custom domain, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. We can also have some access gate restrictions. So we can make it so they need a password to enter our website or to capture emails, but I'll just leave it public and we'll click publish. Now you'll see, I was about to say it's super quick. It's already done we can click on my calculator to check out our app. And here it is, it's what we just made before using ChatGBT, except now we can share this link to share our app with anyone. There's also some extra features if you wanna check it out for tiny.host. If we go back here, click on the, button, on the button here, these three dots, we can have it as a QR code, you can embed this link, and there's even some analytics. So that is how you upload your AI app to the web using tiny.host. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.